Hi guys, good evening, um, or good afternoon, good morning to some of you. Um, welcome to Lesson 10. You can see in Lesson 10 our objective is we are going to be comparing unit fractions by reasoning about their size using fraction strips. <coughs> so what this is going to look like is, since we are talking about unit fractions um, remember unit fractions are all the fractions that are one half one quarter one third one fifth so it's only one shaded area of any hole that was cut into pieces it's any one shaded area or one area of a hole that was cut into pieces. Now we're also going to be looking at using, we're going to try and figure out which one is a bigger size, one half or one quarter or one third or one fifth. What are bigger pieces? We'll be looking at that and this will be a, a, a throwback to you from a while ago. Of using greater than or less than. So you probably saw it as something like this. If you had a 1 and a 2, you would read this as 1 is less than 2. And you always read it from this side over to this side. So 1 is less than, because the small end is pointing to the 1, less than 2. However, if your numbers were 3 and 2, you would say 3 is greater than 2. And the greater than is because of the big piece. This is bigger than this, so it goes towards the bigger number. 3 is greater than 2. We're going to be adding to that when we're looking at fractions. So we're going to be deciding is 1 half greater than or less than 1 third. And I can tell you 1 half is greater than, it's a bigger piece than 1 third. Even though this number is smaller than this number. This size is bigger than this size. And we're going to get into that a bit more. So let's go on over to the problem set. So on the problem set, first thing it's asking us to do is... Each fraction strip is one whole. All the fraction strips are equal in length. Color one fractional unit in each strip. Then answer the questions below. Okay, so we're just going to shade in one unit of each one. Oh, so that's colored in. Coloring in this one. This one. Go ahead and color these in with me. You can already see in a weird way that one eighth is actually smaller than one sixth. Because look how much more smaller that piece is to this. Or of all these pieces, one and a half is still the biggest piece. Alright, so we're gonna scroll on down here. We've got all our pieces colored in, and now we're gonna start with number A. One half is less than or greater than one quarter. So we can just go up here and look at one half and one quarter. Is one half greater or bigger? Or is one quarter bigger? I would say one half is bigger. So we're going to say one half is greater than or bigger than one fourth. 
Okay. Number B over here is one sixth is less than or greater than one half. So we have one half. Again, this is the space of one half, and this is the space of one sixth. Which one's bigger? If they were cake, which piece would you rather have? I would rather have the one half of the cake than a sixth of the cake. So we would say one sixth is less than one half. Remember, we read it from this side to this side. So we'd say one sixth is less than one half. If we look at number C, we're looking at one third is less than or greater than one half. Come on up here to one third. Is it less, which means smaller than one half, or is this bigger than one half? And we would say one third is smaller, so one third is less than one half. And then I'm going to do D with you, and I'm going to see if you can do E and F on your own. Okay, D reads one third is less than or greater than one sixth. So is one third less than or smaller than or than one sixth, or is one third bigger than or greater than one sixth? Definitely bigger. One third is definitely bigger than one sixth. So we would say that as one third is greater than one sixth. One third of a piece is great as a greater piece than one sixth of a piece. Okay, go ahead and do E and F, and I'll see you on the back side. Oh, and don't forget to do G and H. Do the last four, see how you do with that. Okay, we're going to be comparing fractions in this word problem. See which one is bigger. It says Lily needs one third cup of oil and a quarter cup of water to make muffins. Will you use more oil or more water? Explain your answer using pictures, numbers, and words. Okay, so we're gonna I'm gonna use pictures. We're gonna draw some circles. We're gonna call this the oil. We'll say that's the water. Use a third a cup of oil. So we're going to divide this into a third and a quarter cup of water. So in terms of space, and we'll pretend these are the same sizes, the circles. Which piece? Well, that's one third. This is one fourth. Which piece would you say is bigger? Is she going to use more oil or more water? She is going to use more oil because this piece right here is bigger than this piece. So we will just say more oil. Let me explain it in our picture. Okay, on this last piece here is where we're going to actually use our greater than or less than or equal to signs. And here we go, number four. We're looking at A. One third is it greater than less than one fifth? Is one third is 
Would you rather split your piece with three people or five people? I'd rather split with three so I can get a bigger piece. It's going to go that way. Okay. Now let's look at one seventh and one fourth. I'm just writing the numbers because it helps me. Would I rather share some my licorice with seven people or four people? That means seven is less than four because I'd rather share it with four. One fourth would give me a bigger piece than one seventh. Even though the 7 is bigger than the 4, what you're really saying is do you want to share it with 7 or with 4? Because you're only going to get 1 7th or 1 4th. Okay, I'm going to do is 1 6th or 1 6th bigger. They're both the same size, so we use equals. And we're going to come on over to number D, letter D, one-tenth or one-twelfth. Which is the greater size? Is one-tenth greater or bigger than one-twelfth? Yes, it is, because my piece of cake will be bigger with if I share with ten instead of if I share with twelve. I want you to go ahead and do E and F on your own. And then I will see you at number five. Okay, for number five, we have your friend Eric says that one sixth is greater than one fifth because six is greater than five. Is Eric correct? Well, I would say if it, if, it, if the question was is six greater than five. Yes, that's true. The number six is greater than five. But it's not. It's saying one sixth or one fifth. So for this, I always want to draw it out. So which pieces are bigger? And we're just going to look at that. Is this piece bigger? Because that would be one fifth. Is this piece bigger? So that would be one sixth. They're pretty close. But I always ask myself a question. Would I rather share my cake with six people or five people? One sixth is less than one fifth because if I share my cake with one, six people, that is a smaller piece than if I share it with five people. So that's how greater than or less than is working with fractions. Good luck on your homework and problem set or on the exit ticket.